Hello, some time ago I presented you a way to use standard Arduino libraries on the Unihika K10 development board. Specifically, the project consisted of using the TFT ESPI library and an integrated sensor with the results displayed on an analog meter. This time I will present you a project where I will test the Wi-Fi functionality as well as using the A and B buttons. And again, I use a combination of Unihika uh, K10.h and other standard libraries. K10 buttons are connected to a pin on the input-output expansion chip and not directly to the microcontroller, which theoretically means that there is no way to use other library to control these buttons and we must another use Unihika K10.h. I decided to make an analog clock project that will be another example in my collection of unusual Arduino clocks. This clock uses uh, NTP, Network Time Protocol, to synchronize time over the internet. To demonstrate the functionality of the buttons, I expanded the code to display the time and date in digital format as well as change the background colors. To make this cute clock project, we don't need any external components or, or soldering, so it's uh, suitable for beginners. Let me briefly explain how to install support for Unihika K10 on Arduino ID. Also, let me remind you that the Arduino ID version must be 1.8.19 or older. Next, I installed support in Arduino ID for this development board as follows. We need to go to File, Preferences, Additional Board Manager, URL, and here we need to put given link. Okay, okay, then go to Tools, Boards Manager, and search for Unihika. We need to install Unihika by, Unihika by DF Robot. Now the installation is completed. We need to go to Tools. Next, Unihika and choose Unihika K10. With this, the support for this development board in Arduino ID is installed. As for the code, it can say that it is not ideally optimized, but you can easily modify it according to your own needs and desires. At the beginning, you need to enter your Wi-Fi credentials, uh, the time zone you, li you live and the daylight saving time. Then the code is divided into several separate easy to understand functions in which you can change various parameters and if you have the time and desire create your own clock faces. Now let's see how the device works in real conditions. Immediately after switching on information about Wi-Fi availability appears and if the connection is successful an ellipsoidal analog clock with a yellow background appears on the display as defined in the code connecting and now is clock is connected to internet the clock contains a colored arrow for showing hours next an empty arrow for minutes and thin red arrow for seconds 
The date is written in the lower part. Now by, press by pressing the A button, the next screen appears, uh, which displays the time and date in digital format. With the B button, we can change several previously defined colors for the background. So the main goal of this project was to present you with a way to use standard libraries on this largely AA oriented development board so I slightly neglected the functionality of the device by omitting the alarm function. And finally a short conclusion. This project successfully demonstrates that the Unihika K10 board, despite being AI-oriented, can effectively utilize standard Arduino libraries for creating traditional electronics projects. By combining the board's, combining the board's native capabilities with Arduino's extensive library ecosystem, makers can expand their project possibilities while maintaining the simplicity and functionality of the Arduino environment.